So there comes a time in a playthrough of any Kaizo Mari where you come across a level. A level filled with munchers, and platforms that move, and lots of really tight, close quarter jumps that are really difficult to make, that drive the Let's Player bonkers. Me. Me bonkers. These levels are a true work of painful arts. Hello everybody, this is Miles Luigi, welcome you back to Let's Play Kaizo Mario 3, where we are just about to enter into a level that's a little bit different than our normal levels, I just fall down in the middle of the bottomless <laughs> pit, I already know the way the start of this level works. Oh wow, I have to hurry my ass up there, god, wow. But um, it appears we have made it to our platform level, and I have like absolute proof of this, because I actually took a look, I'm, I'm like, how many more levels of Kaizo 3 do I have left? It's this level and a castle, so I'm like, oh. This is that level! That's right, this is that level. So, obviously our level today doesn't take place during night, so we can't call this level the Night of Temporary Platforms, even though these platforms are extremely temporary. However, with a pink sky like that, I'm willing to wage you, this is in the morning! That's right, how often do you actually play a level in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mario, it's your morning routine! Can you get all the jumps? There we go. So, is this automatically going to switch on me, or actually, I'm curious if there's something in the upper left-hand corner that was switching everything. The question then, oh, I just have to make it pretty obvious, uh, kick and make it to the right. Helps if I can make it. I might have to scroll the screen. And I can't scroll the screen while I'm holding on to something. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to hit load state, okay. And I didn't mean to... Er, Okay, let's land, drop, scroll screen, save state. Hopefully the screen doesn't... Okay, this is doable. Almost doable. Almost doable. Just fell down into the bottomless pit in the morning. All right. Let's nail the switch. Nail... I keep turning around too quickly. Like, actually, the exact direction you're facing in a frame pretty much determines which direction it goes. So I got it there. Now I got it. There we go. Wow. Aye, aye, aye. It's just the start of the level, Miles Luigi. This is going to be this entire level, isn't it? On, off blocks, in very precariously placed, hard hit places that are really difficult to get out, including a saw blade in my way, so I have to make a good time. <laughs> that was the worst timing you could have possibly had. Mario literally just turned into munch meat from that jump, Miles Luigi. Are you trying to murder Mario? I guess so. Anyway, do I, can I, no, I have to hold back just very slightly from that save state, but not quite too far back or else Mario flies into the buzzsaw, therefore making all the comments in the YouTube section all say, Mario got chopped into pieces, Miles Luigi, you monster. That's what you get for, you know, waking up to your everyday Kaizo Mario 3 video. You're, you're watching this in the morning, right? Because it is the morning. It's the morning. Mmm. I am fantastic at being able to cut Mario into multiple pieces in the morning. Alright. Okay. Step back. Save state. Forward. Jump. And no. 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 I need more running room. Okay, this won't work. It's going to matter of timing. And go. No. Go. No. Okay. That won't work. Save state. Go. Yes. No! I'm willing to bet you actually this might be a little bit harder if I had to not hit the switch. Actually, no, it wouldn't be if I had to not actually. Do I even need the platforms on the other end? You can spin jump off a buzzsaw. What's preventing me from doing this? Not much of anything. Though that Koopa shell did just kick away shell. Oh, I know why. Because I can't proceed further anymore. Can you feel the insanity? And the. the, 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 the ugh. <laughs> So I do have to make the jump, okay. One of the most balls hard jumps I've ever had to make because of the stupid saw blade. Ah! I have a feeling you have to get the Koopa shell immediately after. I see that Koopa shell. It's gonna come flying after Mario's face the moment I make this for hilarity. Cause it's like, Mario, you did it, plump. Oh, you didn't make it, okay, never mind. Well, what in the world am I thinking hiding back to the platform that doesn't exist after the end of this jump? Yeah, okay, I'm not making it on this cycle. Um, I just have to be really right behind this buzzsaw. Not on top of the buzzsaw. Not below the buzzsaw. Wow, okay. Could you imagine playing a game of Punch-Out where you had to go against a buzzsaw? <laughs> you would never win! You would never win! You do a single attack. Oh, you got knocked down. Oh, by the way, you're not coming back up. No matching you need to get back up because your face got cut off. 
<laughs> uh, Dox Lewis not going to give you any inspirational speech for that, though he might want to use the buzzsaw to chalk his, cut up his chocolate. <laughs> Okay, I have figured out the ultimate way to end every single hero's adventure. Pit him in this situation. <clears throat> you have to jump to an on and off block while a buzzsaw then is in the way of the on and off block is flying back and forth. Damn it. All the way back. I actually let me build up full momentum. Full momentum, there we go. You've just enough room to build up full momentum. And from full momentum, I can actually can I spin jump? If I spin jump, I might Yeah! Catch you! Yes! I'm never doing that ever again. <laughs> I am never doing that ever again. Ever. Okay. No weird Kaizo Discordian bullshit is gonna stop me <laughs> from getting me to do that again. Now, the question is, I caught the shell. Hmm. Actually, good question. I caught the shell. I didn't think this all the way through. Well, thing is, if I hit the switch with the shell, which I can do, can I re-catch it? Doesn't look like it. Though there's an on-off block down there. I see that. There's no way I'm going to be able to hit it in that type of situation. I could probably kick the Koopa Bash shell back, actually. He'll catch it, then. If I can get it into him, all the way up, there we go. He'll catch it, then he'll kick it back. I just have to make sure he doesn't fly that far away, actually. By doing that... He'll kick the switch, right? But then, am I still stuck on this side, actually? I may have messed this up, and that's terrible, horrible, no good, very bad. Let's, uh... <laughs> scroll the screen. There we go. How far back do you fly again? Or that could happen? <laughs> you know, it was probably that Koopa Troopers' job to feed the munchers in the morning. So, let's think this through. Other than weird, crazy glitchiness... He does kick it back, okay. Ah, oh, I figured it out. I just have to do that again. Okay, I figured it out. Let's not kill him. <laughs> I am just doing all sorts of weirdy things. All right, there we go. That should do the trick. What did I just do? Obviously, I'm suffering the case of gaming in the morning. Sorry. I, in the morning jokes are way too easy right now because we know we are in a level. In the morning, here we go. Oh, come on, because the screen scrolled, that's why. We've got to slightly undo some of the screen scroll. And, uh, not enough. Scroll back, scroll back so that you're on the screen when I- Yeah! I'll be fine. Okay, this is a lot of- Oh. Oh, okay. Where'd that Koopa shell go? Did I lose it? I hope I didn't. Shh. <laughs> Oh, okay, I just have it. I have barely have it. I barely have it. There we go. Saved it. Yeah! Yes! No instant event. I died. <laughs> you thought you would have had a harmonious, fun, ever-loving level here with the harmony plane plane? Oh, God, this is going to be hell. You see this thing? Yeah. Ah, oh, you didn't hit it again like it's supposed to. That's a problem with the switch. Oh, Wow, I am going to tell, this is... <laughs> okay, so so you know the one harmony thing. It, it plays in Rayman, and for people who watch my channel, it's also the thing that plays in Super Mario 64 Star Road, in an ever-wonderful level that's called Mad Musical Mess, which is not as difficult as this, mind you. Mad Musical Mess I could do without save states. It just might take a couple of extra lives. This level, on the other hand... Well, quite literally, it is Discord, if I may add that. I I'm just happy that I haven't ran into an invisible coin block yet, though getting you to hit it that third time without hitting it a fourth time, there we go, and, oh, he went too far. I was hoping I could get him to sign a swerve back and forth on that platform. -y. And there we go, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted, because now I can kind of control him like that, and, oh, no, okay, good. Good. Um... <laughs> Ah, <sighs> to everyone out there, I know this is a symphony of the morning for you. Maybe I should have played symphony of the night instead of symphony of the morning. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. Oh, not quite, not quite, not quite, not quite. All right. Lower the rainbow Koopa shell over. There we go. Got it. Now, let's try that again with less invisible coin plot. Uh, I kind of have to lower them way over to the side because I need to land and jump. Either that or more scroll scroll. 
Ah. Well, you know when you wake up in the morning and you decide to tackle a level like this, you're quite insane? Yes, I am describing myself right now. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ah! This is gonna be a tight timing no matter how I lower this Koopa shell. Got it! Got it! There we go, and now we have, well, this is a gambit. This is a literal gambit. Here we go. Oh, I timed my gambit wrong. Timing! Here we go. Timing 101. This has a rhythm, believe it or not. I just have to figure out that rhythm. Nope. Didn't figure out the rhythm. Uh, Alright, here we go. So, once again, figure out the rhythm. You know, this is literally Beatbox Galaxy uh, in the morning, and even worse, and more painful. <laughs> Instead of it going doot, 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 flip, it just goes flip, 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 and you don't have any spin jump to save you this time, Mario, don't you? Damn it, you should have just kept one of those Lumas in your hat, Mario. It would have been way more convenient. But then again, that, I, I forget. This is Super Mario World times. Back when Mario's a bit more risky, insane, and doing things in the morning. An obvious choice. Could you imagine if this is part of your morning routine? I got up in the morning, I brushed my teeth, took a shower, and before I went to work today to do some plumbing, I uh, traversed the one level in Kaiser Mario 3 again in the morning. What an obvious choice, you know? It gets your brain going, it gets your adrenaline pumping, because you have this to deal with. And uh, by popular opinion, people who do that um, sort of live the quite they'd have a much lower life expectancy. <laughs> it's not a good morning routine, actually. <laughs> life expectancy drops significantly for people who play Kaiser Mario 3 in the morning. So what exactly does that say about me? <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, shit! That's not gonna work. Damn it. Okay. Here I am trying to do the fancy save state of mid-maneuver because this is hard enough as it is, and I obviously don't know when to time my save states. Nor do I know how I'm going to jump off this second platform even when I do make it, so... Alright, here we go... Well, that's kind of it right there. I just have to time it. Time it. Time it. Time it! I said time it. Time it, okay. I know by popular opinion you like me seeing me die, but right now I want to actually make it. Alright? Up and down and 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 up and down and... Sweep it, swap it, seep it, super, seep it, super. This sounds like 8-bit Discord. Chaos. Quite literal. Lee. In the morning! <laughs> Oh, okay, what power-up would help Mario the most in this situation? Well, a power-up that would let him fly would be an obvious candidate, but something that would let him float like Luigi's jump would also be pretty cool. See, Mario, this is why you need to bring Luigi out on more adventures instead of making him watch the damn house all the damn time! <laughs> I know you've been taking on some more adventures, and, you know, then stuff happens like you get eaten by Bowser, or you draws off into dreams, or you manage to find your past selves. Yeah, I know, those kind of weird things happen. But, you know, you could have been like, hey, yeah, bro, you know how you can float, and they there. Yes, why don't you go ahead and do that right now? It'd be very useful for this. Wow, this is really kicking my ass. In the morning. All right, come on. Concentrate. I can do this. Oh, almost. Almost. Oh, damn it. Space time rewind. Set this up better again. Oh. Well, I land back on the original platform. Can I jump back? Uh, no I can't. Damn it! Damn it! I need a better plan for this! Straight out right, is there any way I can get rid of the shell by fancy screen scrolling? I don't think so. Fancy me the screen scrolling! And that's not gonna help me. Or, it is. Although I have to scroll the screen back. I have to scroll the screen back so that it flips the switch again so I can make it further up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm literally causing my death by doing that. At least I made it somewhere, so... Well, I'll make my save state there, run a little bit to the left, jump, jump. It's like jump, 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 jump. Mario, don't get morning sickness from this morning routine. You wake up in the morning, you go, I'm gonna beat this one level in the morning, quite literally. Wow. This literally is a rhythm game. And you know what? I've never really been that good at river games. May I add, wow, I glitched through the floor. If I could scroll the screen again and create another save state, that'd be wonderful. As we see Mario go down to the beat. <laughs> literally get down on the beat. Uh, <laughs> but no, I've never been that great at rhythm-based games. Uh, and it's obviously showing here. 
Ah! Oh! Ah! Son of a piss! Stupid! I have to do that again. Arr, you would have think my save state time would have been just a little bit better, but no. Okay. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop on pop. Hop, hop. <laughs> Maybe hopping on the block instead of hopping on pop would be a little bit better, okay? There we go. As we continue this torturous harmony in the symphony in the morning, let's uh, get through here so that Mario can make it to his ultimate reward. What is the ultimate reward again? A gold tape? The ultimate breakfast! Could you imagine? Okay, what is the breakfast that is worthy of a reward of getting through this level? Let's put on our thinky caps and actually think of this for a second here. As I know your ears have been destroyed by this, I apologize in advance. But ultimate breakfast. I know you're already thinking bacon, but it needs to be more than bacon. Okay, bacon that is the exact right thickness. Just thick enough to where it's like, mmm, but it's not too thick. Alright, so it's not like razor thin, but it's also not like super thick, okay? And it's glazed in some form of syrup and honey well you don't need to add butter to a um, bacon but maybe you serve it with something with honey butter like a hash brown or I'm just getting hungry now so by the end of this level we know Mario's gonna get an ultimate breakfast and he's gonna go that's a tasty treat <laughs> Oh, uh, if you could hear Mario talk, it'd be nothing but- Oh, mama, oh, mama mia! Oh, come on! Mama mia! <laughs> Let's try that again. Now that I know there's an invisible coin block there. Wow! I am never doing that ever again either, mind you. <laughs> I think that one was simple enough, provided I didn't totally fudge that up. The question is, what do I do then? Do I bring the Koopa shell up here with me? If I were to cook it down, then yeah, I do. Okay, so I have to actually bring the shell with me. Uh, to bring the shell with me, actually, do I scroll the screen? Okay, I think I scroll the screen here, actually, so that cat shell can stitch it on and off for me. Quite simple. I just have to, come on, scroll screen. There we go. Now that I'm not in a hell jump, there we go. Now it has to be on. There we go. Now, we just have to play a game of fall at the right time. Is that the right time? Oh, I can fall basically. Oh, really? Really? Does it hit it twice? No, it doesn't hit it twice unless I kick it at a specific angle. Oh, wow. I'm, if I may add, legitimately stumped by this. And now it flat out missed. Okay. <laughs> Unless I do more screen scrolling scannings, I think the screen's way too far over though. I don't think that one can be. No, it can't be. Okay. So you kick this shell, and theoretically it hits it twice? Theoretically. I haven't seen it hit it twice yet though. I'm just wondering, because now I fall to my death. Uh, what have I missed? What could I have missed? Oh, okay, okay. I need to do it in that orientation. Then I need to fall in that gap. Wow, wow. Whoa, Nelly. Kaizo Mario really is laying it on, on the accurate timings here. Oh, come on, that's not what I wanted. Ah. Okay. I forgot, was that the correct orientation? No, it's not. Uh, I gotta get the correct orientation. I'm on, back. Oh, come on. <laughs> there. Okay. I believe this is the correct order. Yes, it is. So this is a matter of timing. So I'm going to kick the shell. Save state. Time it about here. I am way off. Okay. I'm going to wait till it goes off screen. Fall. And way off still. Okay. Wait just a little bit longer. Fall. Still off. Okay. Wait just a little bit longer. And still off. I fell through. Wait just a little bit longer. Fall. I made it. I made it! I made it! Here we go! We didn't have to go all Bert's Beast on this, I don't know, to figure that one out. Okay, so you hit that, now it's all off. Oh, you get Yoshi. <laughs> and you jump on Yoshi, you jump off Yoshi, and you make it to the next platform, quite obviously. Dang it! You need to jump off Yoshi a little bit quicker than that, Miles. Luigi, 
Ah, oh, and I messed it up again. Here we go. Alright. Get on Yoshi and like, Mankaisen! That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. So what's preventing me from just jumping across? Because you can't jump across Miles Luigi. That's why. That's why. Now the thing is, okay, I hit the switch. I still need to make it on the platform, and that's still quite a bit of a tight jump here. So we actually have a lot of different mechanics going on here. This isn't going to be simple for you, Mario. You need to not be sweet blocking in right now, because there's no way in hell you sweep block this. Actually, that's probably the only way you'd make it through this, now that I think about it, is to sweep, sleep, sleep walk through it. Oh, I messed that up pretty badly. Okay. Saves it a little bit closer, because even though I like that stretch of music... Yeah, I and up and down and up and around and march and mill day to victory. Uh, I gotta actually have to time this pretty decent to where Mario keeps a lot of horizontal space here. Because I actually... Actually, can you save Yoshi is actually a decent question. If I can save Yoshi, I could plot his use a little bit more. I can save Yoshi. Okay. That helps a little bit because now I can slightly plan this better or if I can hit the I don't think I can hit the switch like this no you can't so you do definitely have to hit it on the uh, jump off of Yoshi uh can I help back off on him after I hit the switch actually it looks like I might be able to do that if I can do that I get two dismounts no that's pretty dang uh two dismounts would easily solve this problem easily 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 and uh, uh, nah. Yeah, without two dismounts, I now have to really think about what am I doing here. Or if I'm right next to the switch, I might immediately land back onto Yoshi before he falls too far. So maybe it still is two dismounts. The thing is, oh, I don't like the idea of two dismounts. I really don't. Hmm. What else can I do? What else can I do? I can't hit to the switch. Switch to the left. No way. Eat the muncher! That won't work. Two dismounts is still kind of the idea in my head. I just don't know how I'm going to pull off two dismounts, because it's like I'd have to land back on Yoshi for a second dismount and he falls too far. I almost had it! Give me that second dismount! Give me that second dismount! Give me that second dismount! Give it to me, I say! Give it to me! Mm. So close, yet so far away. So close, yet so far away. Mario is just doing this. And it's this is like doing a zero-star completion of the game. Where you just have to... Got it! I got it! That's it! A second dismount! That's what does the trick. A second dismount. Okay, I hope to God the end of the level... That Son of a biscuit! That's the midway point? That's just halfway through the level? Oh god, I actually should probably just die because I'm at 100 seconds. There's another half of this level? <laughs> I will gracefully accept the heart attack right now, everyone. Uh, so while we wait for Mario's uh, pacemaker to go off and uh, die, I'd like to remind everyone that's just a half of the level. That's just a half of the level. That's just the half of the level. That's just the half of the level. Morning's over now. It's past morning. Or uh, sunrise, I should say. The sky's still pink, though. Ah. 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 I hope you all had a good breakfast. Because you're going to love brunch. You really are. You really are. Are you as hungry as a chomper? Ah. <laughs> Well, on the ah! next episode of Let's Play Kaizo Mario 3, more of this. This has been Miles Luigi.